Hello and welcome to the eBike24 YouTube channel. Our video today is a little bit about the e-road bike that you can see behind me. But above all about the drive in this electric bike. The X35 from Mail is installed, and we show you how to attach the range extender to the drive. The X35 is one of the rear wheel drives that have been installed very frequently by various bicycle manufacturers recently. Especially on slim urban e-bikes, e-gravel bikes and e-road bikes, the drive really has many advantages. But also a few things that may bother some of you a little. One of them is the limited range. The drive is usually installed with a battery integrated in the down tube. This has a capacity of 248 watt hours. That's enough for a range of 100 kilometers. It always depends on what kind of terrain the route has, what kind of surface and so on. But for some people the range may be a little too low. The range extender from Mail provides a bit of a remedy here, because it has a capacity of 208 watt hours, which is about 70% of what the bike is built into the down tube. And that's a significant increase that you can already achieve. In other words, you can really add quite a few more kilometers. We've already taken the range extender out of the packaging. I can show you everything that comes with it. The actual battery, of course, and the holder, which will attach to the frame in the first step. Then there's a small rubber strap, which is clamped in between and ensures that the battery doesn't fall out of the holder. With the battery itself, it's easy to overlook the fact that the cable for connecting it to the charging socket on the frame is also included. This is a very clever solution from Mail, as they have simply clamped it down here. If you want to use the range extender, it's important that you detach the cable from the holder at the bottom here, and then feed it through this small cutout, so that you can actually plug the connection into the charging socket on the frame later. Then we installed the Mail app on our phone, and we can now see that the internal battery is almost fully charged, and it would now have a range of just under 120 kilometers, without the additional battery. Let's see how much it is after the installation. And then we've also got the appropriate charger here, because of course you'll have to charge the range extender at some point, and that can be done as usual via the charging socket up here, for example. And you can then plug in a charger like this as you would normally, and charge it at home in your flat, in your basement, wherever you want. The first step is to loosen the screws from the bottle cage here on the down tube. The bike starts to wobble and, as you can see, the handlebar turns a bit awkwardly. This happens relatively often when the bike is in the stand, as is the case here. But I had already thought of this and prepared something simple. All we did was tie two rubber bands together, and then take the valve at this point, and pass it round the frame. The second end is also wrapped around the valve. And now the front wheel stays in place quite well, and then you can do the rest of the assembly in piece. When removing the screws for the water bottle holder, we realize that the ones fitted here as standard are very short. That is not going to be enough to screw on the holder for the range extender. So we just got ourselves some longer screws and will now use them. This may be the case on your bike too. If so, a screw length of 10 millimeters is completely sufficient. To see what the best position for the holder is, let's just put it here on the mounts on the frame, and we can see that there are various options now. I'll try to mount it relatively low. Well, maybe in a middle position, something like this. Because you have to remember that the cable comes out here. The charging socket is now down here. The cable is not that long, but I think we can easily span the distance that's here now. So let's just take one of these longer screws. The hexagon socket as well and we can place it here roughly. Screw number two. Now it's in. As you can see, it's only a matter of a few seconds. Okay, and now it's tight already. Next, we take the actual battery. Now insert it into the holder. Pay attention to the cable routing again, down here, right? And then it works quite well if you insert it sideways like this and then turn it. Guide the cable correctly down here. There's another notch at the bottom of the water bottle holder. Push it in properly and then press it down. And it fits perfectly. 
Inserting the connector into the charging socket is a bit tricky. It's relatively easy once you've had a good look at it, and recognize this little lug sticking inwards into the connector. And then there's a little notch here at the bottom of the charging socket. And the two have to match up, and then you can insert it very quickly. Then there's a small additional safety mechanism. You turn this knob with the two levers, and it engages automatically. And from that moment on, the plug is firmly inserted into the charging socket, and the range extender should now be connected. The battery is now fitted. What we do now is activate the system. There we go and then let the bike reconnect to the app. You can see it's connected and we see the same display as before. It recognized it immediately. Unfortunately, the following now happens in the app at this point. We see the remaining capacity of the range extender. It was apparently only half full for the time being. And we see the remaining capacity of the main battery which is installed in the frame in the down tube. But unfortunately, we no longer see the expected range. This is definitely a small disadvantage in the mail app. At least we can see that everything is working properly at the moment. In one of the last steps, we now simply reattach the small rubber lock to the bottle holder or the holder of the range extender. And then we have another small additional safety mechanism to prevent the battery from falling out while riding. We have now removed the battery again. Mail is not the only manufacturer to design its holder for the range extender, so that it looks like a water bottle holder. So it's interesting to know, does it also work as a water bottle holder? And as we can see, that's not the case here, is it? Somehow the bottle is far too loose and falls out immediately. In this case, only the range extender actually fits in there. As you have seen, the range extender is really installed in no time at all. It is immediately recognized by the system, which is just perfect. And the 70% extra range that you gain with it is certainly a real benefit for many of you. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss any more videos and tutorials. Thank you for watching, take care, always have a safe ride, and see you soon. Bye!